Danielle, come on over. Danielle flew in specially for the conference. I saw your post on Instagram because you're a great mom. You love your children. You have a great husband who I, I think we all know very well. But uh, you flew in because you needed this this weekend for you. So tell everybody what the Lord did. Well, like you said, I have three kids, uh, nine, seven, and three. And it's been nine years. I've never left them for one day, for one night, I mean. And the Lord started birthing in me a desire to come. And I said, Lord, how am I going to do that? Like, how are you going to work that out? I said, you got to be really good because I'm just going to let you handle that. <laughs> and um, so I eventually spoke to my husband and I said, you know, I kind of have this desire to go. And he didn't say very much because <laughs> he said, he, you know, he's a great dad and everything, of course, but he's never been alone with them at, you know, for multiple nights. <laughs> so, so I was just, you know, like he, since he didn't say much, I was like, Lord, you know, okay, well, maybe if it doesn't work out, I will watch from wherever I am and I will experience you wherever I am. And the next morning, well, he just said to me then, he said, just watch. And, um, I just kept my eyes on Jesus and I, the next morning I woke up and he was already at work and, and he sent me a message and he said, check for flights. And, and I was like, Lord, that is just amazing. You know, like I was just so excited at that point. And so I came here and I was believing for, I just wanted him to, to do something for me. I mean, it's, as a mom, you're like, you're, you're a mom you're always busy, you're a wife, you know, like you have a lot of responsibilities and sometimes it's easy to get overlooked or feel like you're not appreciated even though they love you, you know, so much. Um, but so I was just like, Lord, this is, this can be my me time with you, you know? So, <laughs> so the conference was amazing. I came here, I wanted priorities rearranged in my life and I wanted to be refreshed as his daughter, not, not just a mom, to my kids, um, you know, a wife. I wanted to be <laughs> renewed in my relationship with him as, as his daughter. So um, it was amazing. It came to Saturday morning and I was like, Lord, this has been the best time. And, um, you know, I'm like, man, I'm good. I'm good to go back and be refreshed. And that, you know, I'm like, I don't need any, I don't need any prayer, Lord, I've, I'm good. And, and, um, <laughs> Saturday morning in worship, I couldn't stop screaming. I have never screamed in my life. I felt the joy, but I've never, I've never just had, I, I couldn't say anything else. All I could do was scream and it felt like my lungs were on fire and I couldn't get up from the floor. No one prayed for me. He did it. It was not anybody laying hands. It was him coming to me where I was. He saw me pass, pass the, the, the mom, pass everything as his daughter. So I just want to encourage you, if you're here or if you're watching online next time or for conferences, if you don't think there's a way to come, there's always a way. There's always a way. And, and if you have never left your kids, they will survive. <laughs> Daddy's doing a great job and he'll probably watch this and be like, you know, awesome, honey. <laughs> Anyways, he just did a, such a change in my life. Um, you know, I've never experienced that before. I've been here in Bible school and been here, lived here for a long time and it was just something new. So I was so, so excited. I felt like, you know, he was, he was raising up a voice inside of me, not just for my family, but past that, you know, to, yeah. do, to, to do awesome things. And, you know, she's actually family because her husband is my nephew, uh, Basil, my brother's son, and her dad is Phil Driscoll. That's her father, Phil Driscoll. So, you know, to see what the Lord did, because I, I was watching and I went, oh, wow, I was watching the Lord just grab you. But let me tell you, when you get back, Brandy's going to be so happy to see you. <laughs> He's going to roll. I'm telling you, yeah. But no, he's going to be so appreciative. Oh, wow, you did all that. I had to do all that. So it's going to be great. God bless you. Love you too.